everyone. It's Lisa. Happy Friday. I hope that you have had a wonderful week. I have had a really good week. I've gotten a lot done and um, this week I went and got a new computer like an iMac. So I'm looking forward to John's going to set it all up for me this weekend. I wanted to kind of get through with my videos and um, have time to kind of clean up and stuff upstairs. And I want to rearrange my whole room up there. So anyway, I'm excited about that. And today is actually Thursday. I thought I would go ahead and do my Friday video. I'm waiting on one thing to come. One pair of boots that I'm anxious to get from ASOS. ASOS, ASOS. And... Um, I got two other pair of boots when I was on the Zara website. I saw these and I got them, but I'm more excited about those because they're a little bit different. They're the patent leather, and so I might do all that I can this video and then do the end of it later after they come. But anyway, so it's gonna be a quick one today. I went to Walmart the other day. I was determined I was getting something a little bit lighter than the 330 natural tan. I love this so much, but it was just a little bit dark. And I felt like I was having to, you know, just lighten it too much with like the concealer and stuff. So I went back and got the one under it, which was, I think it was 320, like medium beige or something like that. And the tone was completely different. And I took I ended up returning it, and that's something I wanted to tell you guys. Walmart is very good about returns. Now, with that said, I don't take stuff back if, I don't know, I don't take everything back. But with foundations, I feel like, you know, that's part of buying a foundation at the drugstore, is if I'm going to do that, I want to be able to take it back. So, I did take that back, and... Let me go back. Let me go back before that. The tone was different. It was not a neutral tone. It was much more yellow. And I just don't prefer a yellow tone foundation in the winter time. I prefer more of a neutral, a really good neutral. So I returned that one. And the next time I went, I was looking at all the different shades and I got so confused. So luckily I was able to pull up the Revlon website and I found that for a uh, neutral medium skin tone they suggested 180 so I went down from 330 to 180 to sand beige and in both of these I got the combination oily which is matte and so this is too light but a pump of this the pump of this is perfect and I just mix it on the back of my hand and that is what I have on today now, if I wanted to really go for like a natural look, or if I just really, really wanted to have that bronzy feeling, sometimes I do feel like that. Like I'll really want that more of a sunny look. Then I would probably go with more of the first one, the 330, and maybe just a teeny dab of the other one. So it's good to be able to adjust it. So I wanted to tell you that, that if you're like me and you tried this one and you love it, and you really, really love that neutral tone, here comes Chanel. She's getting off of the kitty thing that they love. And she's gonna come over here. <laughs> hey baby. I just brushed her. So she may look kind of nappy because she, Chanel doesn't really, I hate to say this, but she doesn't really take care of herself like the other kitties do. She has all kinds of dandruff and stuff. When I brush her, it might be because she's getting a little chubby. Anyway, there we go. That's one of the main things I did this week. And then when I was in there, I looked at the medium powder. I decided to stick with the medium to dark, and I'm glad I did. What I do is I use like one of the BK Beauty brushes to do it all over. And then when I want to just get it a little bit more intense, I just use a, a natural fiber brush, kind of like the Sonya G, like I did in that tutorial. And um, so I think that's all of stuff like that that I got. Oh, and I did get the I went one up in the Revlon concealer. I don't have it out here, but I will list it down below, the color that I got. So it's not so white. It's a, I've got it on now. It's just, you know, blends in a lot more. And then this, I was so excited to show you guys this. I have been using it. Today I didn't use it. I went back to an old favorite, my Tom Ford Coco Mirage, just for something different. But this palette, it is in that same e.l.f. line 
and I didn't realize Mad for Matt was like this line. I might have called that other one Mad for Matt. Chanel. And, um, but this one is like a whole palette, almost a whole palette of crease colors. It is a gorgeous palette. Look at that. I mean, the whole, all of these are like crease colors. And then you have a matte highlight and then you have some darker ones down here to darken it up. So I have just had so much fun playing. I mean, this color right here, I love it. It's that pinky brown nude color. It is just a beautiful palette. I mean, these palettes are so good. Today I have on a lip combo, a friend of mine and a subscriber sent me a little goodie package and she sent this lip gloss and I love these lip glosses, the Hourglass Unreal. This one is the High Shine, um, okay, the color is Sublime and that's what I have on now. I have it on with the Edward Bess lip liner. I think his lip liners are called Natural. But this color, if you are a lover of nude glosses, it is beautiful. And it might not, I'm scared it isn't translating well on camera because sometimes on videos, a color just looks better. But I wanted to show this to you, how pretty it is. It is just gorgeous. And it is so glossy, like latex. And my baby's crying back there, so let me go get her. Hold on. Okay, so she had to go potty. So anyway, oh, this gloss. Love it, and I think you would love any of those. What is the other one? I'll put the name of the other gloss that I have in that line, too. I know it's more of one of the pearly ones. There's like a couple of different formulas, and they're all so good. Um, I've got my socks out here to put on. These are some of my H&M socks. Aren't they cool? And they're so soft. They look like they would be... You know, you can rest assured I'm not going to wear anything or show you anything that is not soft and comfy. There's just not, I know that I would look better sometimes in things that were more structured, but I'm just into comfort. So anyway, these always look scratchy to me, but they're not. They're very soft. Okay, I'm going to just go ahead and show you the boots that I got from Zara. Both of those are really cool too. And this happens because I'm always looking for good boots for you guys and I end up seeing them and just these are the real leather ones but they're not crazy expensive and i just wanted to share them with you so hold on i'll be right back i feel like too even though you know black boots a black boot there is so much different you know what i mean there's just little things make a big difference okay the first pair i actually wore in my walmart fashion video the other day i had so much fun with that and i learned something each time so eventually i'm going to get that just perfect but anyway this is a pair of boots that I ordered from Zara. And what is special about these boots is I have wanted a pair of Tamara Melon boots for so long and they look like this, but the only thing that kept keeping me from getting them, besides the price, the price is pretty high, but what really made me kind of shy away from them is the heel was real low. It was like a not even a two inch heel. But I loved the toe, the pointy toe, and I loved kind of like how it came up real, you know, tight to your ankle. It just gives a different look and it gives you a few more options with different pants and stuff like that. But this one had a bigger heel. So these are fabulous. I wore them, let's see, I wore them in the video a little bit and then I wore them last night. We went out to dinner and they're just awesome. These, you guys know I'm into the funky heels. This one has kind of like a good, funky, stacked, cool heel. Look how pretty that is. I mean, that's just, that's awesome. And then I loved the toe. I love the way that it's squared off and look how it's got that seam all the way up the front. I hope that you can see that. I'm trying to look on the monitor to see what you can see, but just an amazing boot. I'm always, I love those boots that almost look like the men's boots. Did your daddies or granddaddies ever wear those boots that look like a shoe at the bottom and then they zip up the side? That's what they kind of remind me of. And I just think they're so pretty and they come up real tall and just that seam just adds so much to me. Okay, I decided I'm gonna go ahead and do an outfit of the day and I've got a couple things to show you. Chanel, goodness. 
and um, I will just show you the ASOS boots tomorrow or you know this weekend sometime. Here are two things that I picked up at H&M the other day. This I just love. I think this is going to look so pretty like in a video it will be so good for you know pictures if you want just something simple but with just a little bit of extra. I got that bodysuit and this is the medium from H&M and then I know I don't need any more sequins but I just love this and it reminded me so much of that picture of Sarah Jessica Parker that I used to love so much on the front of the magazine it's a little bit longer than the one from Walmart and um, it's different though it's not it's much more of a flowy shirt it's not as structured as that one is so it's it's pretty different but I felt like this would look good with jeans for my outfit of the day, I have on this t-shirt. I don't think I've like officially shown this to you guys, but I picked it up from Oliver right before I went out of town. And it is from that brand Redone. And it's just like the perfect little shirt. It's tight, but not crazy tight. I love like the little cap sleeves and it's just like the perfect length to wear with pants, leggings, everything. These jeans are new. These are from H&M. I just got them the other night and I saw them on the mannequin and had to get the girl to help me find them because their jeans are just like all over the place. And I love them. They're very similar. If you got the mom jeans and you loved them, the ones like I have, then you will love these. But these are just a little bit cropped and wide leg and I have on the Zara boots with them. And I almost forgot, this is the Miranda Fry belt that I showed you guys a while ago. It's just a good belt, simple, but just adds a little bit of pizzazz. That's my seat. Okay. <laughs> Chanel won't even let me sit in my own seat. For accessories, I have on, I kind of went with the whole Miranda Fry thing. I went with these earrings that I love so much. I didn't do any extra necklaces because I felt like with this, the belt and the rings, that was enough. I don't want to do too much. And um, here are the new rings that they sent me. I love these and I love wearing them together. They're just a little bit different. One is a little bit wider than the other but I love the way they look together. And then that is the signet ring. And I almost forgot to tell you guys the winner of my giveaway. I took a picture of it here. Okay, it is Nadia, Nadia L. Lynn. N-A-D-I-A-L-L-Y-N-N. -L -L -N. You are the winner. And it looks like on IG, you're Nadia Lopez, 21. So I will get up with you on Instagram and you won the PR package giveaway. And um, I'm gonna be doing lots more. So stay tuned. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. And is there anything else I wanted to tell you? I don't think so. I think that's it. So stay tuned. I'll be back real soon and I'll show you the other boots. And matter of fact, I'll link the boots that I got from ASOS just so you can look at them. They were less expensive than these. See you then. Bye-bye.